Hi everyone. Welcome to the NAND Cloud Garage. So in this session, I'm going to talk about what is the difference between traditional architecture and cloud native architecture? That is one question. And another question, what is the difference between scale up and scale out or vertical scaling and horizontal scaling? And what are the foundation fillers foundational pillars of cloud native architecture and technologies. OK, let's start with the first question. So if we plan to compare between the traditional architecture and cloud native architecture, as we are aware, traditional architecture, we have a servers. And on top of the servers, we are running a virtual machine and every virtual machine or physical servers are running with the operating system and applications. And when it comes to the cloud native, cloud native means either cloud based or we call it as cloud is the essential architecture. That means it is a specific cloud home architecture. So we have a private cloud, public cloud, and if you mix with the private and public hybrid cloud or some organizations have a multi cloud. This is the common in a cloud native architecture. So when it comes to the traditional architecture, most are related to a server centric only. And example, physical servers and virtual machines. But when it comes to the cloud native architecture, it's not about server centric. It's specifically for a container centric and all are running as a containers only. And as we know, containers runs on Kubernetes. And in traditional architecture, local ID is integrated drive electronics, and we are using a developer tools. But when it comes to the cloud native architecture, completely we are using cloud based tools and intelligent tools. Intelligent tools means it is nothing but a uh, threat analysis tools or data intelligence tools. And traditional architecture tightly coupled monolithic. That means here we are running one application on each server and even VMs also run with a monolithic architecture or we can use a tier based architecture web application DB and also the application servers. So tier based architecture we can use. But specifically to the cloud native architecture, it's completely loosely coupled and service based architecture. That means it's a microservice architecture. And here is infrastructure dependent, but when it comes to the cloud native architecture, portable across infrastructure, that means container can run on any cloud, provide public hybrid and so on. And here, as we know, the traditional architecture methodology, waterfall, agile, and it is taking a long delivery to release the software. Releasing the software to production environment or go live to the software is, it will take months and weeks time. But when it comes to the cloud native architecture, it's like a hours to days only. So using the DevOps and continuous delivery, or we can say CACD pipeline mechanism. Normally DevOps means it's mainly talking about the development practice and the CACD pipelines are talking about the complete automation tools. Okay, now another point is, as we are know traditional architecture, siloed means separated development team work independently separately and operation team also works separately and even quality assurance team separately security team all day one day zero day two every team works individually but when it comes to the cloud native architecture and this is completely changed all are working in a cross departmental collaboration collaboration is nothing but a team teamwork and due to DevOps practice and DevSecOps practice. And see the, all the teams are working together. Even if you know team means together, everyone achieves more. And in traditional architecture, we can scale up vertically. That means within a server, we can add additional resources. And when it comes to the scale out horizontally, that means let's say we have one server, we can add multiple servers. Even if we have one virtual machine, a scale out horizontally means we can add VM to VM3 and so on. Even in the next slide, I will explain again for the what is the difference between scale up vertically and scale out horizontally. So the, the difference between 
scale up and scale out or we can say vertical scaling and horizontal scaling so let me explain the vertical scaling first so within a vertical scaling let's say i have server one or we have a virtual machine one it is running with cpu to cpu memory is 4 gb and disk is 100 gb and it running with a one production nic card and in, if you vertical scaling means let's say we have two cpu if you increase to four virtual cpu and memory from 4 gb to 16 gb and hard disk from 100 gb to 200 gb and network card we are adding for a additional link card when we add any additional resources on same server that is nothing but a vertical scaling so that point i mentioned here increase size of resources that resource means cpu memory disk and nic network interface card when it comes to the horizontal scaling, it's not about on a same server. We are adding a additional service that is called horizontal scaling. Let's say I have one server, increase the number of servers or virtual machines. So that means that is called scale out or we can say horizontal scaling. If we have one server, horizontal scaling means we are adding a additional servers. So for our easy understanding, I added a four servers. Not only four, we can add a number of servers. That is nothing but a vertical horizontal scaling, sorry. And vertical scaling means just adding on a same server. Horizontal means adding a additional instances, okay? now and for our easy understanding i am just taking a another general example for difference between vertical scaling and horizontal scaling let's say if you take a one normal bus vertical scaling means within a bus if you add a additional deck that means double decker bus this is vertical scaling this is easy to understand that means within our server we are adding additional resources but we are not added a new bus but when it comes to the horizontal scaling we have one bus if you want to do a horizontal scaling or scale out, that means we are adding additional buses. This is the easy to understand the difference between scale up and scale out or vertical scaling versus horizontal scaling. Okay, hope you got the clear understanding now. Now, another point is what are the foundational pillars of cloud native architecture and technologies? So within the cloud native architecture and technologies, we have cloud native architecture technologies are an approach to designing, constructing and operating workload that are built in the cloud. Cloud means either private, public and hybrid take a full advantage of cloud computing model like we can use CNCF tools also cloud native computing foundation tools. So within our cloud infrastructure, we have the cloud native applications that means containers running on Kubernetes, okay? So to maintain this uh, cloud native application, the main pillars are modern design, microservices, containers, automation, and also baking services. That means additional services. But not only limited to this five, we have additional, but these five are the foundational pillars of cloud native architecture. And let me elaborate these five pillars. So that within the modern design, we have a mainly access methodologies via application program interface and microservices. We have microservices architecture and we have application running on a portable packages like containers and automation. We have a DevOps methodology and also it's a continuous integration and continuous deployment delivery automation tools. And we also have a backing services. But when it comes to the modern design, the distributed integration and no shared models, and specifically to no direct linking, we are using a API on messaging. That is the best example for modern design. And when it comes to microservices, it's a service-based architecture, and service-based is in modular and loose coupling. Example is microservices. And containers, as we know, containers as in portable deployment and execution unit. And automation, we should say declarative architecture, infrastructure as a code, and whatever the repeatable task, all can be automated. And example, CICD, okay, CICD pipeline. So in our previous session, we talked about CICD pipeline. And one of the example is GitOps. It's mainly used for a automation purpose. 
and big banking services means there are plenty of services which includes monitoring security services and storage services and there are some analytics tools and streaming services message broker distributed caching document databases relational databases not only limited to this there will be so many but when it comes to the cloud native architecture main pillars if you, if you got any question you can explain these five pillars okay so that's it for today thank you if you are watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to gnan cloud garage channel if you are already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now